One common question I get as a Squarespace designer is, can I use Squarespace for free? In today's video, I wanted to talk through the ins and outs of trial Squarespace websites versus paid Squarespace websites. I'm Christy Price. I'm a Squarespace expert and educator. I've been working on the platform since 2018, and I have lots of resources for you if you are getting started. Go ahead and check the video description for a link to my Squarespace pre-launch checklist if you are building your own website. All right, let's dive in. So you are building a site on Squarespace and you want to know, can you get it for free? Do you have to pay hosting? Well, you can get it for free as long as you're willing to share it with a password for a short amount of time. What you can't do is have a live site without a password for free. Now, if you are just getting started with Squarespace, you can visit squarespace.com and choose a template from their free templates, or there are lots of template shops out there built by strategic web designers like me who give you a head start on building your website. I'll drop a link to my template shop below, but wherever you get started, when you get started with Squarespace, they will give you a free two week trial to try out the platform and see it fits for you. Now, sometimes you get a six month trial and you can get that if you work with someone or purchase a template from someone who is a Squarespace Circle member. And that means they have at least three paid websites on Squarespace and they have applied for the Circle program. Now, what do you get during that trial period? So whenever you start a Squarespace website, you're going to need to create an account or log in with your existing Squarespace account. So let me just do that and we'll hop back. Okay, I've logged in and you can see at the bottom, I have a little message here that says your trial ends in 184 days. Upgrade now to get the most out of your site. Now I get 184 days because I'm a Circle member. If you're not, you'll see 14 days here. You get a two week trial period. Now, the nice thing is if you're trying it out in those two weeks and you want a little more time, you'll get an email when your trial is expiring with a link that allows you to extend that trial by seven days. So you get really three weeks of trying it out and seeing if it's right for you before you pay Squarespace for hosting. So what are the limitations to your website when it is in trial mode before you pay for hosting? Well, one thing is that under permissions, you can only add one additional contributor to your website. Now that's probably not an issue. You probably don't need tons of people added to your website while you're building it, but it is something to be aware of. Now, another thing that you can be aware of is that people can't just go to your domain name and view your website. What you can do is set a site-wide password. So if you go to site availability, you can set a password for your entire website and save that. And then when you send someone your built-in Squarespace domain name or your domain name, if you've already connected that, they will get a prompt asking them to add the password before they visit your site. You can see this with my Squarespace templates. So if we look at my website template shop, I don't pay for hosting for these templates. I just extend my trial every six months. So if you click on one of my templates and you view the demo, you'll see that I have in the URL, I've added question mark password equals scribe. So these are password protected trial sites. I'm not paying for hosting for these because I don't need them to be live. I just need somebody to be able to look at the template and see if it's something that they want. Now, another drawback to sites that aren't live, these are not indexed by Google. So trial sites are not indexed or crawled by search engines. So just be aware of that as well. So when you are in a trial site, you don't even need to provide your credit card information. You can just play around with the platform, see if it's a good fit for you. And then when you're ready to go live with your website, we'll go back here. And there are a couple of ways to do that. You can hit subscribe from the bottom, select a plan. And then once you've done that, you just need to remember to go back into site availability and remove that password protected. Once you pay for hosting, you'll see public here and you'll want to toggle that on. So it removes the site wide password and then your website will be live. So to sum it all up, 
Yes, you can absolutely use a Squarespace website in trial to try out the platform to see if it's the right fit for you. If you're a template shop, you can use it for your templates. What you can't do is add a lot of contributors or have it indexed by search engines or share it live without a password. I hope this clarifies whether and when you should pay for hosting from Squarespace. And I wish you all the best with your website.